So now that we've completed our first slide, we're going to create a second one. Earlier on I said don't just insert the three blank slides. And the reason for that is because what we're going to do is we're going to use this as a template effectively. What we're going to do is we're going to right click on this slide and we're going to use the duplicate slide option. And what that would do is it would just copy that slide. The beauty of this is all our formatting and, and things are located properly and consistently now. So I've got this one's done. I've got my next slide. So I'm going to go to my text file and I'm going to use go down to my next slide. Now this one says the horse. The hand is the unit used to measure the height of a horse. It originates from ancient Egypt and is based on the width of a human hand. It's now set. I don't think that's relevant to a, a beach holiday thing. And they quite often do this. They'll have text that's not relevant. Usually the clue is in the question. The question will say use relevant text from the text file. Um, or appropriate text or something like that. If it just says use the text or use all text, it usually means you can use the text, but you will have to take things out like where it says tile slide. But um, generally, the, if you see this a paragraph of text and you think, well, I don't see how that links to what I'm actually doing, you need to not include it. So I'm going to skip that and go down to new sports. I'm going to put that in my tile here. So I'm going to just select all of that. So I can just click and drag and select all of that text and then paste and it puts the text over the top I'm going to do the same with the paragraph text here paste that in now, it's not a lot of text there yeah, let's, go, let's get rid of this full stop and get rid of this So what can I do with this to make it fill up a bit more? I'm going to take this away. And I'm going to do the same thing I did with the other one. I'm going to take this text out. I've cut that text. And I'm going to paste it back again. And I'm going to make this into like a box here. I'm going to use bigger text here for this one, I think just to make it pop out because we need to advertise our services. Okay, I'm going to go for that. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to put that as red text. And this one here, I'm going to make this text box a bit bigger but I'm also going to line that up in the middle just to so it uses spreads the space out a bit so we do that okay so we're actually using up our space a bit better that's all okay so that's one technique this is a bit horrible because they haven't given us much text to work with I'm going to change my put my other picture in so we're interested in jet skiing and kayaking let's have a look at our images I know there was one of jet skiing there so Uh, let's put our kayak in one of them. Let's see. And you may find as you go through the question that you have to change things around a little bit, but we're just going for this for now. I want to put this picture where that one is, but if I get rid of that picture, then I won't know where to put the picture. So the trick I use for this is I line this up on one corner. So I've lined that up on that corner there. And then in the opposite corner, I grab. And resize. And I want it to be slightly smaller than the original one for now. The important thing is if I line this up in the middle like that. There you go. So I've just got that lined up. I can still see the picture below. And the reason I do that is because one, I know it's lined up. But secondly, if I click on the picture behind it, I can use the Format Painter feature there and now click on my new picture and it'll pick up the border setting that I used so I can you now click on the picture behind and press delete I've now got my picture in the right place okay so that's slide three pretty quick and easy let's duplicate the slide just put this out of the way for a minute I'm going to just change the text size and make this a bit smaller for now because I I need to make my other text box bigger. 
just dump that down there for the minute. Okay, so I've made a bit more space for my thing. So this one's competition is the title. I'm going to copy that. Select all the text in here. Paste that. I go back to my text file. And now we've got some uh, information here. So now this one's got these brackets and things like that. So we've got to put some information in here. Um, so windsurfing has been Olympic sports for women since 1992. In tw 2012, the event was won by. Now, I was asked this question in task one, and I've got the answer here. And it's Marina Alabal Nera. That's how you pronounce it. So let's put that in there. Sorry, go back to my text file. I tend to do it in my text file because I don't have to worry about any formatting issues. Uh, where were the 1992 Summer Olympics held? And back to my Word document, and I can see it was Barcelona. So let's put that in. Okay, so I'm going to text file. Replace the brackets there for Barcelona. Okay, is it? I don't quite know what that one's doing there. I'm going to get rid of that, I think. Because it says to use suitable text. So, um, Okay, so we've got a competition on the final one. Answer this question for a chance to win and email your answer. So I'm going to copy all of that. I was just checking that the text made sense. Paste that in. Ah, right. So we've got a problem here because there's too much text Let's try, actually, let's try taking this out. Now, what I'm looking at is ways of saving space now. Or making space for... So, just pasting that into there. Okay, so... Let's move that down a little bit. Make this text box a little bit bigger. So what size have we got now? I've just put my cursor in the text and I can see it's 24. This is 28. 28. So I want to get it to 28, but there isn't really enough room. So I'm going to have to do a little trick here. And that trick is we're going to take these three lines and put them into a table. So that they sit next to each other. So Rome, Washington and Barcelona. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how to do that. I've just made that smaller to give myself room to work. So to insert a table, go to insert. We've got a table option here. Um, it opens up this list of boxes. This just shows how many rows and columns you want. So this would be one row, one column, two rows, one column, three rows, one column, and so on, or three columns. And that's the one I'm going to use, three columns. I'm going to move that down. I'm not worried about the colour for now. I'm going to change that in a minute. And I'm going to just resize it so it fits in my text box there. So it's just lined up my text box there. If I want to change the way this looks, I can use these under table design. I can use these table styles. I'm looking for one that's... Let's have a look what we've got here. I don't think it really matters that much because I can change it anyway. But I'm going to just put, um, I'll, I'll leave it and show you how to do it manually, actually. I want to put these values in there, but they're going to be blue on blue. They're going to be hard to see. So before I move them, I'm going to just change the text color. Like that. And that becomes hard to see on white, obviously, but I'm going to cut that, paste it in there. Now you see, when I paste it, I've got several options here. I've got this one, which is use the destination theme. This one, keep the source formatting, so it's going to same, use the same formatting as I got it from. This paste it as a picture, we don't want to do that. And this one just puts the text in, which means it will use whatever format the table's already set up for. I want to use my own format in there. I don't want the bullet points, so I'm going to just 
I can either just go to the beginning of Barcelona and backspace, or I can just turn off the bullet points here on this bullet point section here. Cut that. And remember, I'm going to use that setting. And you see the cursor has gone down there. That means it's included a blank line. So I'm going to backspace, get rid of that. And finally, Rome. Let's cut that. Paste that using my formatting. And again, it's got the blank line in there. Now, the problem with having that blank line is I can't make that any smaller because it, it thinks there's some information there. So I'm going to just... It's hard to see, but I'm going to just go to the end of there. Move my cursor there. Backspace. And that would allow me to make it a little bit smaller. There's one in Barcelona as well. There you go. As soon as that goes, I can make that text bigger. So, let's have a quick go here. Let's put those in the middle. And I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. So, I'm aiming to get to 28. So, let's go for 28 in the list there. So, you can see that's given me a bit more space now. I can move this down. If I move this down, there we go. This is a question, so I'm going to change that from a bullet point. Make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to change the color there. I'm going to change it to this. Change it to black, I think, or dark blue. There we go. I said about changing the colors here. We can do that if we just select, go into our, our table. So I've just gone to the beginning of the table, clicked the left mouse button, held it and dragged right across the end of the table there. So all of those cells are selected. If I go to my table design, I've got some settings here, shading, borders and effects. So I can change my shading. I can change the background color so it matches my header because that's the color I used before. I can add borders. So I can put all borders on like we do in Excel. There we go. Okay, so I think that needs to move up a bit. And I'm going to move this one up just because I didn't have other stuff that far down. But to the question, have I done all the things that I need to do? So this is a point where you need to literally read through to make sure that you, you have done everything. We've got a presentation to advertise the beach sports on offer. Yep, we've got that. It has a title side slide and three other slides. Let's move this over a bit so we can see at the same time. So we've got a title slide. It's clear and easy to read, I think. You know, we haven't used crazy colors or crazy fonts. We've got relevant text. That's where the word relevant comes in. So there was information there we didn't need to include. It's got all the information we found in the first task because we put that in here. This last slide. It's got the logo on each slide. Yep. We've got the image we found, which is the sports scare, and two other suitable images. It's important when they say two images, it means two images. Don't don't think, oh well, I can add a few others in, or you know, or I only need to put one in. This is this will cost you a mark if you get this wrong, and it's really it's a crazy way to lose a mark. So with this task, it's really a matter of following the instructions. Uh, we've created the presentation. We've entered our name and candidate number on the footer. Uh, we just need to save it with a meaningful name now. So I'm going to save this as. presentation tasks and I'm going to call it the SB Beach Sports Advertising Presentation something like that okay what I haven't done is just called it B BC Beach Sports okay save that that's now good to go